Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, Sage back here with another spirit animal video. And as the title suggests, this video will be focused around the owl. And um, wow, quite a, what a pleasure to even do this video because I definitely, after the first one I did about dogs, and I'll put a little playlist in the bottom, or you can just check in the playlist, you want the place you want to look for is called Spirit Animals. After a video around dogs, I was sitting, I was thinking, what video should I do next? What video should I do next? And sure enough, I saw this supremely large owl <laughs> the other night and sure enough I knew that was my sign so with that being said we're gonna hop right into the video and uh, around owls and then like with last time we're gonna do talk about different cultures and hopefully that gives you guys meanings if you have a particular special question about seeing an owl recently um, you can always email me and uh, book a very quick 10 minute uh, private reading about what your what spare animal are you as well as understand um, uh, it's very inexpensive to $11. All right, let's get into it. All right, the one I have for you is owl, which um, objectively, this is the general definition. It's considered an ambivalent animal. You know, ambivalent, it's like uh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that because it's considered a great bird of wisdom and at the same time, a great bird of darkness and death. So if you see an owl, either you're going to gain wisdom, darkness, or death, right? <laughs> Um, the first culture we're going to look at um, is the Amerindians, and they looked at the bird as a bird of wisdom, a bird of divination. Now we have Celtic, uh, Celtic lore. They viewed the owl as a chthonic animal, and chthonic for our conversation purpose kind of just means like a dark angel, like a weird-looking, supernatural, powerful being from a different galaxy, if you will. Also known as uh, the night hag, and they considered that the owl to be the corpse bird. In Chinese mythology, the bird was considered strictly evil. A bird of crime, a bird of death, a bird of horror. Even a bird of ungrateful children. So if some of you guys are seeing an owl strongly and you're uh, literally about to babysit your niece and nephew in the next five to 10 minutes or maybe tomorrow, oh yeah, that's why Spirit was showing it to you. Uh, also, the Chinese mythology, they, they, they put uh, the owl on funeral urns it's because it represented death for them. In the Christian mythology, they saw the bird as Satan, the powers of darkness. They also saw the bird as a bird of solitude, a bird of mourning, you know, aka sadness, a bird of desolation, bad news. The call of the owl is known as the song of death. In Christian mythology, the owl was used to depict Jews who they uh, put in their mythology preferred the darkness of, to the light of the gospel. In Egyptian mythology, the owl is also considered a bird of death, a bird of night, and a bird of coldness. I'll also say in the Egyptian mythology, and when we get into like a symbology of animals, the owl also becomes like a crane or like a stork, and we connect the owl to this Egyptian god called Tahuti, who had a face like a crane like a face like a, like a, and uh, with that, it was a bird of thinking, you know, a bird of writing down, like it was a scribe bird, you know, just, just so we have a little deeper thing on the Egyptian uh, side of things. In the Greco-Roman mythology, the screech of the owl symbolized wisdom and was sacred to, to, Athe to Athena or Minerva. Um, if, if you ever guys ever saw this movie called Clash of the Titans, there's kind of like this like cool mechanical bird. That bird originally is supposed to be a bird of wisdom that helps the hero on his heroic journey. You know, the bird, uh, it comes from the goddess Athena. Powerful mythology there. The owl was an attribute of the Etruscan god of darkness and of night. In Hebrew, Hebrew, the bird represented blindness. In Hindu, the bird was an emblem of Yama, the god of death, and uh, Japanese death ill omen mexican mythology it was the night the night bird of night and the bird of death all right that being said everyone um it's quite short um, let me know how, what you think about the owl what does the owl mean to you and your own definition you also kind of see the owl even in cool movies like the uh winnie the pooh movie you know that super owl of wisdom but yeah i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video and if you have any uh any um, questions, just uh, feel free to email me in the description box below. Uh, one, one sec. All right, thank you, and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> All right, bye.